my name is Love Star. Welcome back to my Fairy Core Let's Play. Today is episode 22. Isn't that right, Spook? Aren't you so glad that we're still here? 20. Wait, no, it's episode 23. Okay, well, I'm wrong, but <laughs> I was gonna say, aren't you guys glad that we are so far into the series? I don't know, 23 feels like a lot to me, probably because the episodes are pretty long. And yeah, um, by the way, I think today I'm going to try to make the episodes a little bit longer than usual because I know you guys really enjoy when my um, videos are long. So I will try my best to give you guys a little bit extra um, video length, I guess. But anyway, <laughs> I feel like I'm always rambling. Okay, so I have a lot to show you guys today, like a lot, a lot, because if you are not aware, I did a stream um, a few days ago and that was the last time that I have um, been on the Fairy Core world. So we did quite a lot of stuff during that stream. It was like over two hours long, I think. So we, yeah, we did a lot. <laughs> um, so I do have a lot to show you guys just in case you didn't see the stream. If you wanna watch it, um, there is a live stream tab on my YouTube page where you can check out all the previous Fairy Core streams as videos. I think there was something wrong with a bitrate on the last one, but oops, whatever. <laughs> okay, so first things first, um, we have a little bit of a situation here. So first of all, we have Sparkle. And I put her in the tiny bed and I realized that um, when you put the mushroom girls in the tiny beds, they lose their name. So what I did was I spawned myself back in some collar tags. Um, I'm gonna just give her one again. There you go, Sparkles. I have to make sure I don't use these tiny beds on like already named mushroom gals because they're gonna lose their name. So welcome back, Sparkle. And we also have a new addition to the family, to the Mushroom Gal collection. So um, the mod developer, Bartek, he told me about, oh look, she's growing mushrooms. She, uh, he told me about this infernal Mushroom Gal that I can spawn in by um, using Powder of Genesis on a brown or red mushroom in the nether. So this is how you get these adorable little girls. I did not know that that's how you found these, but I love, I love this one so much. Like her little, cha like her bangs covering her face is so cute. Um, so I, <laughs> I, we gave her a pretty interesting name on the live stream. So you might be a little bit surprised. <laughs> her name is Dorito Hellbringer and I already named her, but again, she was in the tiny bed. So she lost the name, but her, <laughs> her name is Dorito Hellbringer. Dorito for short, I guess. Um, we wanted to do this thing where we gave a really cute creature a very like scary name and the next time I get like a scary pet I guess I'm gonna give them a very cute name so imagine like a giant freaking 10 foot tall monster being called like I don't know uh cake or something <laughs> so that's what we did with little Dorito over here but she's super cute. She is so cute. Oh my gosh. I, I don't know what to do with her though because she's another girl and we do have some other girls. Sparkle is another girl. Zara and Zelda are also another girls. But I don't know. Something about Dorito. I feel like she needs, she needs a really cool house. So I don't really know what to do with her just yet. If you guys have any ideas of what we can do for her house, um, let me know. I was considering for like a split second to put her into the nether and maybe we can make like a nether base. What do you guys think about that? Spook, can you get out of the way, please? Um, so we still don't really have like a nether base and I think if we actually wanted to do that, where- oh my god, Sparkle, please cooperate. <laughs> I need to push her in there, into her house. But anyway, what was I saying? Um, if we wanted to make a nether base, um, we can also do that as kind of like a- like we'll make one for- no, no, no. We'll make the base for me and for Dorito so she can live there. And then once we go to the nether, we'll be able to visit her. So what do you guys think about that? And of course, lastly, we still need to name our Ender Puffball. So I I love her so much. She's like the cutest thing. Um, so I did choose out a name for her. Um, one of you guys... Oh left a really good suggestion. I'm gonna name her Crystal. And um, the person who left that comment said that they... Um, they thought that uh, the little puffball girl re reminded them of the crystal puff butterflies in our butterfly garden. And that is like, that is such a good comparison because she really does look like them a little bit. I mean, in in, in her own way. So I think we'll name her uh, Crystal. I think that's such a cute name in general. Okay, so I'm going to grab, we do have some chains and um, some copper. We're going to give her a little collar tag. It's kind of a shame that I have to make so many of these collar tags because they waste like XP and I really want to get to level 30 so I can uh, enchant um, 
my old sword. But anyway, welcome to the family, Crystal. I'm glad to have you here. We also need a, a place for her to live. I think I'll probably just keep her in the overworld because I'm not really going to go to the, to the end all that often. Um, so maybe next episode I can give her a home. I know she's still living with Sparkle, unfortunately. But you know what? I think Sparkle can use a friend sometimes. She's a little bit lonely, you know? Sometimes you just need a little cute Ender Puffball girl. Oh my god, please. I'm gonna have to push her out. Okay. Wait! Just go in. Go in. There you go. Okay. Get in your bed. You need to, you need to sleep. Okay? Alright, good. So... Okay, we're gonna take Dorito with us. Oh, wait. Does she have a bed? Mm, I don't think she does. Let me make her a pet bed because I'm gonna take Dorito with us today. Um, for a little bit, I guess. Just to give her some fresh air. Because she's been sitting in, like, a pet bed. Or a, a tiny bed. But I need to make her a pet bed so she doesn't die. Because that would be bad. Okay, so I'm gonna make her... We'll do her an orange one because I don't have enough red wool. Um... What else do we need? We need logs. I have that. And then we need, I think, iron. No, we need a- Oh! Girl! Oh my god, dude. This is the thing with- with, uh, with these puffballs. Is they're a little bit wonky. Um, are you- are you gonna be following me around, Crystal? What is going on? I think she lost her name. I think they're a little bit bugged. Um, what is going on? <laughs> is she- uh, okay, let's see. Does she, like, leave the bed? Yeah, okay, this is really weird. <laughs> She's just floating around. I know you want to come with me, girl, but, like... <sighs> Why do you have to be so difficult? Oh, God. Oh, she's just... She's just stuck in a tree now. That is not good. Oh, my God. Get down here. Get down here. Okay, they are definitely a little bit... Um peculiar. Maybe I should just keep her in the pet bed. I mean, in the tiny bed. <sighs> Crystal. But now her name is gonna be removed again. But she's like... Okay. I'm sorry, girl. In the pet bed you go. You're gonna have to stay inside, okay? Okay, I mean, if I if I ever figure that out, I'll just have to spawn in another collar tag for her. Ah, what a shame. Oh my gosh. I don't want to keep them in the, in the tiny beds because I feel like they, they just... I don't know. I don't want them to be trapped. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take Dorito with us because at least she's not like super glitched. <laughs> um, so we do have a few other things to show. So we're actually going to go make a little trip to the Twilight Forest. And um, where's Spook? Hi, Spook. Okay, you know what? Um, Spook will wait with uh, wait outside the portal for us. She's gonna protect the portal, and we're gonna take Dorito. Yeah, we're gonna take Dorito inside. Um, so I finally got to building my Twilight Forest house. And I, I know it's been something I've been wanting to do for such a long time, but I haven't gotten to it. And now I finally made some progress. I mean, not a lot, honestly. I mean, I was being so slow because of the, um, the stream. Like, it's very distracting. <laughs> um, but I think it's a pretty good start. So we are, come on, I, I'm just gonna try to push her into the portal. It's a pretty good start. We're gonna actually- it's a tree house, so I'll show you guys. And I have a few other things I wanted to do in the Twilight Forest in terms of building. So today I think this is definitely gonna be more of like a building episode. Okay, come on Dorito. So um, first things I want to do, well, after I show you the house, is I'm gonna make a pathway here because I'm always so confused whenever I enter into the Twilight Forest. I like don't know which way I'm going. So we're gonna go this way. Yeah, I'm also gonna try to light up this area with some like maybe mage lights or something, but it's just so like dark I'm struggling to see. I also want to make a bridge that connects this to bits of land. So anyway Here is the tree. This giant robust twilight oak tree is going to be our twilight tree house So yeah, that's what I'm gonna call it. It's gonna be the twilight tree house and um, I really don't want you to like fall So do you mind? Okay, let me let me just try to see if she teleports up there. So we're gonna climb all the way to the top. I'm thinking if I should maybe put a bubble elevator up here because this is like, <laughs> it's it's quite annoying to have to climb up this much vines. 
Um, but we'll, we'll see. Maybe there's a faster way with mods or something. I, I don't really know. Okay, so she teleported. Yay! I also need to put a fence around here because last time we had a little accident, but I'm not going to talk about that because, uh, hello, Melody. If you want to know what happened, go watch the stream. It's just too tragic. <laughs> so she's going to grow some mushrooms for us, right, Dorito? Yeah, you're so cute. Okay, so anyway, we have a little ferret here in a cage. I know that's so sad, but... We found, um, a really long time ago, in a very old stream, we found a ferret on a little adventure that we went on. And I wasn't able to tame it because I don't- I didn't have any raw rabbit at the time. Um, as you guys know, I was collecting raw rabbit to tame ferrets. Um, so we finally got one! I went all the way back to that first ferret I saw that I trapped in a hole, and I tamed it! So, we decided to name him Yuki. That was the chat's name suggestion, which means snow in Japanese. Pretty cool. So Yuki isn't tamed yet. He's stuck in this cage because he's not tamed. Once we do tame him, I'm going to um, release him, obviously. So let me- can I pick him up? How do you- how do you pick him up? I think I just need to break it. Oh, yeah, okay. So Yuki is just gonna- I'll put it on the counter so at least he's like not on the floor. But he is currently- a wild ferret but he's so adorable and i can't wait to tame him we're gonna have to go f like hunt some rabbits um uh someone suggested i make a rabbit farm i don't really like okay i can try but i honestly don't like the idea of farming rabbits that is sad that is really sad so anyway yeah we're gonna be working on our twilight tree house i'm gonna show you guys what i have so far it's really it's really cozy really cute i like it a lot um and i'm gonna try to obviously make this look very natural so it's not gonna be like a housey house sort of thing it's literally going to look like we are living in a tree and we're like a little forest animal um <laughs> so let me show you guys the upstairs we have three floors currently and this is the like utility slash storage room so we have some chests here and i i made this little archway and i don't know what to put here there's a lot of space surprisingly i just don't know what to do because i mean this is obviously not like our main house uh it's just for when we're gonna be in the twilight forest so anyway um, this is the bedroom, and so far it's definitely my favorite room because I've obviously decorated it the most, but look how cute! It is so pretty, and look, we have like windows and the beautiful view outside, and it's just such a shame it's so dark, but yeah, you get to see some of the winter forest over there if it wasn't so goddamn dark. You can see more of the twilight trees. Beautiful! It's very, very beautiful. I like it a lot. I could just imagine like sleeping. Wait, can you actually sleep in the toilet forest? Oh, you can! Huh. Well, anyway, it says I wanted to create a mode because I spawned in some collar tags, so don't mind that! I wasn't cheating anything else. Um, so I'm gonna- should I put a fence here? Let me put one, like, at least like this. Because I don't want to fall, but we do need to be able to, like, enter. Um, but yeah. So, that's the progress so far. It's not a lot. But there also is a little thing I built on the uh, exterior. So let me get into my gyrodyne. Um, I'm going to show you guys. Or I'm going to try to. So if we just... There we go. Okay. Check this out. Wait. Yeah. Turn around. Turn around. Look. Look. Isn't it so cool? It's a freaking giant lantern. Um, like connected to our tree which is so pretty i think it's such a cool idea to have this because it's so dark here and this is kind of like a beacon of light it's like a uh, a lighthouse um i need to actually place more glass here do i have any oh yeah i do have some glass so we're gonna actually park here Ooh, don't break okay we're gonna park and get out of here and i'm gonna just try to finish this up don't think i even have enough glass but i do have sand on me so we can actually go smelt some if I didn't already do that. I honestly forgot. It's been a few days since I played, so I, I don't know if I'm missing anything from the stream of what else we did. I think that's everything. I think that's everything. Oh yeah, there was something I wanted to show you guys in the overworld that was a little bit of a surprise. I didn't even show the stream because I did it off camera and I wanted to show you guys as a little surprise. So once we go back to the overworld, which we're probably going to have to do at some point, um, I'm going to show you guys. I'm excited. But for now, I definitely want to just, um, this episode, just build in the Twilight Forest. It's so pretty here, honestly. Um, I would love to have like 
a series where we just live in the Twilight Forest. Like, I survived 100 days in Twilight Forest, <laughs> or something like that. I just think that would be so cool. Um, because the Twilight Forest is like the pinnacle of fantasy and like fairy core and all that. Um, but yeah, so let me go up to the utility room. I'm gonna see, did I smell any glass so far? I did! Yay! Thank goodness! Oh, we have a lot! <gasps> That's a lot. Okay, I'm actually gonna- Oh, look! <gasps> wow, that is so pretty! Despite the weird, like, sky block- skybox thing going on. Look at that! Very pretty! Um, it's weird, because I, I thought it was still raining. Oh no, it stopped. Okay, cool. Um, I really like that it rains in the Twilight Forest. That is just super, super awesome. So, oh, I have this Dunmer- Dunmer wall light. I'm gonna put it there. We're gonna tr probably try to get rid of these torches and put some proper lights. Uh, but yeah, my inventory is a little bit messy. I'm gonna- I, I found this blaze pet. I don't know if that was during the stream or not. Um, I'm just gonna dump some of my stuff here because I- my inventory is so full. And we're gonna need a lot of space for building. I'm gonna take these tiny bits and just put it in there. We have some glow berries that I'm gonna use for, um, uh, I guess to decorate, yeah. Globaries is a good light source, actually. Oh, I totally forgot to make a um, ah, oh, damn it, because I don't have a bone now. Okay, so we can't actually- I totally forgot about that. That is really bad. Um, Dorito is- well, I'm sh she's just gonna be sitting up there, so I guess she's gonna be fine as long as I don't um, push her off. Whoopsies. <laughs> um, I promise that won't happen again. I- I won't- I won't let them die. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Yes, I accidentally murdered Papaya, but she's back. It's okay. She was in a pet bed. And that was the thing I told you guys that happened, the tragedy. But Dorito, look, we put we put protective railing. She's going to be fine, right? You're not going to die? Yeah? Okay, good. Because if you do, I'm going to be really sad. I will be very, very sad. Okay, anyway. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah, the um, we need to put the glass. So, let's see. Can I actually, like, jump onto it somehow? Like, if I climb down here? I think so, yeah. Ooh, and I'll break this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, okay. That was a little bit dangerous. Um, but yeah, so once we actually, um, you know, kind of work on our house, get all of our stuff, like, settled in here, I think it'll be a perfect time to go to fight the Lich King, because I still haven't done that, and I'm not fully ready. I, I still want to get a sword upgrade, and... I, ha I have my bow and everything, so I think after I get my sword and maybe, like, you know, make some potions or, or whatever, like, some defensive utilities, we can actually go fight the Lich King. There should be a Lich Tower really close by. I'm pretty sure I saw, like, multiple kind of close. So, yeah, there's definitely some towers around here. I'm really excited because I feel a lot more prepared now, especially after fighting the Ender Dragon. Whee! Oh, I love doing that. Um, I definitely feel a lot more prepared but yeah, we're gonna hold off on that for the for the time being, and we're just gonna build and set up our little, you know, our little base. This is our little twilight base. I'm really excited. So, I actually think what we should do is set up, like, an easy way to travel from the portal to the house. Because right now, it's very clunky, and I did not like it. I don't like having to swim through that river. I don't like having to, like, like confuse myself every time I enter the portal and be like wait which direction am I going like it's it's so confusing because it's so dark um so we're gonna I'm just gonna flatten out this land a little bit we're gonna make like a little staircase and then I want to make a bridge I have a really cute idea so I guess we're this is kind of like a diagonal thing unless I I don't want to make a diagonal bridge so maybe I'll try to like smooth this out somehow uh wow it's so dark I, I can't see it's so dark! God. Okay. Let's try. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am just so happy to play on the Fairy Core world. And yeah, so I hope you guys are still enjoying it as always. I've been thinking about adding some new mods because, um,. A lot of you guys in the stream chat were giving me some really cool suggestions, especially for more of like quality of life mods, because I feel like the the, the mod pack could definitely use some quality of life mods, because that is like the one thing I wasn't really paying attention to when I was um, setting up the pack. What is that? Oh, it's oh, it's just wood. <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, so I think that would be that would be good. So maybe in the future or sometime soon, I'll try to update the mod pack and. We'll have some new cute mods to play with. You know, one of the mods that I actually did install a while ago, I didn't really mention it just yet, 
was a um, fairy dragons mod, but don't get too excited because I actually uninstalled it. And that's because it's a very like buggy mod and I don't know what is going on with it, but I feel like it spawns the fairy dragon biomes like way too much. And honestly, the red like bamboo forest one is such an eyesore to me. I just genuinely don't like how it looks in the mod pack or in the world at all. So I, do, I don't really like it that much, like the that biome. And I was like, okay, well maybe I can still install it because the fairy dragons are so, so cute and they totally fit the mod pack. Um, however, it was just so buggy. Like, first of all, I know I've already had a few issues with that mod pack when I was actually like playing with it in the past. Um, but also the weirdest thing that happened was when I entered the Twilight Forest, there were like hundreds of maple fairy dragons just spawning here in like groups and I would like move 15 blocks and there would just be another group and then another group and another group and it was just like what the heck it honestly kind of scared me because it was so weird. So I decided to just uninstall it because it was really freaking me out and I didn't want my world to be overrun with fairy dragons that would be really really weird so i uninstalled it unfortunately it's such a shame because i really really like that mod as a concept the dragon models are so cute i like the idea of like you know hatching or like finding an egg hatching it and like growing it i mean the whole like mod is so adorable i really love that process of like raising a little dragon and the chrysalis and everything like that i mean it's super cool i've even done a mod review on that um a really long time ago before I even started my fairy core series, I did a mod review and I included that mod and it was really awesome. But yeah, it's no longer in the pack because at the at this moment it's just too too buggy. I don't I don't like it. Um so yeah. That's why I uninstalled it. I also uninstalled um Maiden's Merry Making mod because it was a holiday mod. So anyway, we're going to make our little we're gonna make our little bridge design now. So what I'm gonna need for this is probably um, let's see, what stone do I want to use? We have a lot of andesite. I don't really like how this looks, honestly. Oh, we have a lot of polished diorite. I feel like using this white brick could look really good because it's just so dark in the forest. So, yeah. Oh, what about- honestly, I really like how polished granite looks. I kind of want to use polished granite. So, unfortunately, I don't have any. So we're gonna have to go get some. Um, let's see. I don't really want to go back into that little cave anymore, but while we're here, I'm going to show you guys what I was talking about earlier, and then maybe we can find a little cave opening. I think there's one, like, up the hill. Okay, so, hello! Little ink cat girl. She's so cute. I'm so glad that she's, like, always here. Anyway, so, I, I did a little bit of decorating with our, um, shrine for Melody. Uh, Melody is actually in the forest right now, but Cow, no, cow, wait, stop. I thought I fixed this. Hold on. Oh god, he took damage. Did he die? Oh, yep, he died. Okay, stop it! Guys, what the frick is wrong with you? Why are they doing this? I literally had to get rid of these vines because they were going crazy and just killing themselves. Stop this. Stop it. I really regret putting vines in here. These cows are idiots. Idiot cows. Okay, I think that's everything. I don't think they can climb up. Okay, cool. Um, let me out of here. Okay, this cow, I guess you're just gonna roam free. I don't really care. Anyway, so, uh, I did a little bit of, um, decorating of the shrines. I'm gonna show you guys what I did. Okay, so we're gonna go through our little pathway that I made past these fairy lights. And I put a little wind chime here. Actually, was that always there? I don't remember. Anyway, I made a little pathway here. And check this out! Look at this! So I was actually um, taking inspiration from um, like traditional Japanese shrines with the um, the tori the tori bridges and like the little staircase. So this is yeah. I I was using some like photos for inspiration. I put some cherry cherry trees, of course, making it look very secluded and peaceful and like a little mini cherry blossom forest. And then yeah. So that's basically it. I mean, I just made 
Um, I put a wind chime there as well, but yeah, I just basically fixed up the entrance, made it look really pretty. So I hope you guys like it. I think it's pretty cool. The only thing is, of course, it kind of like blocks the view of the Tori Bridge, but you know what? I think that's okay because um, it's supposed to be kind of like a secluded little sanctuary. So yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you like this little staircase. I think it's super cute. It looks really cool at nighttime as well because it's just so lit up. Um, but yeah, so let me go over this way. And I'm gonna see if I can find that little cave I found a long time ago. Um, yeah, here it is. Look, there's so many, like, ink cap girls here. Ah, so cute! Okay, so let's see. Is there any granite? Granite! Where are you? Oh, look! Actually, huh, there's some right here. Maybe I was mining coal or something, but yeah. So we're just gonna get a little bit- I don't need a lot, I guess. Mmm, we'll see. But yeah, I'm just gonna mine this for a little bit. I'm gonna get some granite. Um, but yeah, so what have you guys been up to lately? I am so curious. What have you been building in your fairy core worlds? Um, I would really love to know. I wish um, that I could just like see your guys' worlds. Like I could just like take a little tour of them because I'm so curious on what you guys do with my mod pack. It's very fun and um, just interesting to see. So yeah, leave a comment letting me know what you guys have been up to in your own Minecraft worlds. Even if you're not playing on a fairy core mod pack, just let me know what you've been up to in Minecraft because I also play Minecraft on my own time. Um, I, I do have a uh, vanilla, well, not, okay, it's not fully vanilla, but it only has, like, a few mods. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate in a second, but I have, like, a, I'm just gonna call it my vanilla world. Um, I do have, like, a vanilla Minecraft world that I've been playing on for a really long time, and actually, I, I, for a while, was doing a little Let's Play on it, like, way back, um, but I don't, I don't really post those anymore because it's kind of like um, my personal world, and I kind of wanted it to be for my private playtime, basically. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been playing on that a little bit lately, and it's been really fun. So I do have a few mods installed now, and it's just- I installed um, the Toho Little Maid mod because I just wanted kind of like a little helper, and I installed MCA because I kind of wanted to make like a village and I wanted to interact with the villagers and stuff like that, and um, yeah, so I, I, installed the, I, I installed those two mods, and I also have Farmer's Delight because I just love Farmer's Delight. So yeah, basically- I would just consider them kind of like very small tweaks, um, just just you know changing a few aspects of the game that I'm really interested in, like you know kind of like the villager aspect. I do enjoy making villages and kind of like interacting with the villagers and stuff, and of course farming and cooking. So I just installed a few mods. Um, however, it's like you know I, I would still consider it kind of a vanilla world because mostly everything in there is vanilla I could easily get rid of those mods and nothing would really change um, that would not fly with this world I think if I did that with this world it would just blow up and be so sad and empty and very corrupt so anyway I think we have definitely enough granite for now we can always come back if we need more but yeah so I've been playing on that world um, in my free time I don't really have as much time to play on it as I wish I did, but yeah, I really enjoy it when I do get to play. It makes me so happy. It's a very, you know, awesome world to me. I've been making so much progress, and yeah, I just love, like, doing the simple things in Minecraft. Like, I just, like, when it rains, I go fishing. Um, I like to, like, you know, travel on my little camels and uh, mules and just go on little adventures and stuff. It's just so much fun. It's very peaceful, and... I've been re-watching some like old Minecraft Let's Plays that give me a lot of nostalgia and it's just been so nice. But yeah, so I'm curious on what you guys have been up to in your worlds. Um, let's go back into the forest and I think- oh wait, um, do I have moss? Oh yeah, I do have moss and then I can- yeah, I, I think I have everything I need. So we're gonna- we're gonna go back. I'm gonna place Spook down. Spook, take care of this place, okay? And speaking of which, this is not related whatsoever, but- I also want to work on the trophy room um, eventually. I, I think I kind of want to make it like a um, some sort of like antique looking vintage library and then there's just like trophies, you know? Something like that. I don't really know. I don't- I, I'm honestly like I'm not super decided on what I want to do just yet. Um, but yeah, we'll figure that out another day. It's not that important honestly. But anyway, let's make our little bridge because I'm so sick of uh, swimming through this water. So I'm going to... We probably need some slabs. I'm going to place a crafting table. I guess I'll have to make one. There we go. And I'm gonna make 
what should I use? Maybe Twilight? Yeah, I think I'm gonna use actually the Twilight oak wood and we're going to make some fences. That should be enough, hopefully. And okay, so I'm gonna, oh yeah, slabs. I'm gonna make this into slabs. My inventory is so full. I'm gonna put this glass away. <laughs> I have like way too much now. Um, convert this. There we go. And so we're gonna try to connect it like here, I guess. Right? We'll make it three blocks wide. And then we'll do full and go under. Oh wait, is this gonna- oh, no we're good. Okay. I was worried that it would change the, the block texture. And I guess this is a fine enough elevation, right? Maybe we can go one higher, actually. And now, we'll just go- oh, crap. Um, because I wanted to place some some moss here, but now- okay. Ooh, this is- ah, uh, oh god. You know what? Uh, let me just make it one lower. I think it's fine if we just okay yeah we're gonna we're gonna make it at this level because I wanted to put moss on the railing and yeah so we're gonna actually only put some fences here and on the moss area we're going to put some flowers I'm gonna go flower picking yay you know I really wish that uh for um Ferdinand's flowers was um spawning in the twilight forest that would be so awesome but oh you know what i can do i can actually just place um you know whatever i don't even care i was gonna say i, was, I could just place some half slabs but you know what at this point does it really even matter no anyway yeah i really wish that ferdinand's flowers would work in the twilight forest but you know that's okay. I'm just glad that Ferdinand's Flowers works with so many of the overworld biomes because I, I'm honestly quite surprised. Like, the way that Ferdinand's Flowers just transforms the magical forest biome is incredible. Um, it's really cool how the, the mod works in so many different biomes. I'm very impressed. It's such a good mod. But yeah. I guess if it doesn't work in the Twilight Forest, it's not the end of the world. We still have a lot of beauty in here. Ah. <sighs> It's so pretty. Look at that sky. Oh, I love it here. I can't wait to make this place feel more like home. Okay, so we're gonna put some moss. Ah, oh, I'm excited. I love flower picking. I don't know what it is about that. I like, I like collecting things. It's very fun. So hopefully we have enough moss. I think we should be fine. Ooh, we're cutting it close. Ooh, we have enough. Yay! Okay. So then we're gonna put one little fence here just to kind of round out the edges and let's do the other side really quick oh wait there we go okay we're actually we only have one moss that is uh, a little bit too close for comfort I should probably uh, replenish that supply okay there we go I think that's even and do I have any lanterns hmm no you know what we could do we can actually go up here and we can try to make some lanterns using the furniture station because I did bring it over here because I, I wanted to use it. Um, I wonder if the furnish mod has any interesting lanterns. I'll check. I'm pretty sure they do, but I think it's like paper- <gasps> I think it's like paper lanterns. Okay, I don't really see any lanterns. We do have this really cute telescope though. Ooh, we need a spyglass for that. Interesting. Okay. I could totally- try to make that a little bit later because that would be really cool anyway let me go up here i think this is where the no well i need i need clay so we're gonna grab the clay and let's see where did i put that furniture station i think it's somewhere here what where is it am i missing it that's not it where's my furniture station i did bring it over here didn't i Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay, I don't know why it's here. Um, so we need wood? Okay. Let's see. You know what would be cute? We can put these little red mushrooms. I'm gonna make like ten. And... Hmm. So there's no, like, standing lanterns. It's like wall lights and stuff. So... Uh, well, you know what? We can just make... 
We can just make some, honestly. Let me go find a crafting table. And we can put this clay away. The meat and the leather, I do not need that. And we'll just make our own lanterns. Fine. Have it your way, game. Whatever. We'll use some of our torches. We actually are dangerously low on torches. Do I have any coal? Okay, I do. I do have some coal. We're gonna we're gonna just I guess turn it all into a thingy thing. And I'm gonna make a few more lanterns. I want I want quite a lot. We need we need to really focus on lighting in this uh, dimension because it's so freaking dark. As I cannot state enough, it is so freakishly dark in here. But we will make do. We also have some glowstone and some shroom lights. I think I'm gonna probably save that for the actual house though because I uh... I don't wanna... I don't know. I feel like glowstone blocks, they just don't make sense to put in the actual like land. But anyway, so we're gonna put some lanterns. Let me put one like on here and then one here. And we can go over here. Break this torch. Get out of here. Alright. Good. And now, mushrooms. So cute! Oh my god, that is so adorable. It's like a little mushroom family. We gotta make some fake land over here, make it look natural. <laughs> oh, I'm out of dirt. No! Okay, you know, it's fine. We'll get some more later, but yeah. Let me put some more mushrooms on this side. They're so cute. I love how they can be like stacked. Okay, I totally could use some more dirt because this, yeah, this is a little bit rough still. We'll make a little, um, little stairway, I suppose. So this is a little bit easier to access. Oh god, that is fast! Hey, at least we're getting dirt, you know? We're getting some dirt. Oh my god, this is so fast! Stop! You're scaring me! Okay, so let's see. Oh my god! Damn it! Now! Don't do that. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna use my hand. Ah, <sighs> okay. And I'm going to make, you know what? Yeah, let's use some stairs. I'm gonna make some stairs using our granite because we have a lot. I love how granite looks in this texture bag. Just make sure never to take it off or you might get a little bit jump scared by how weird this place looks. But anyways, I don't really know. I don't know. Okay, and I'll put some blocks. Nice. And now we have some more some more dirt. This is kind of awkward, but perhaps we can fix it with a good old pathway. Something like that, right? Yeah. Oh, this dirt is not going to turn into grass. I'm going to have to connect it like that. Okay. And we can get rid of the sand, because honestly, I do not like that. And I'll put... We could have actually made some... Okay, you know what? Whatever. I'll put just a lantern here for now. I probably will make like a little entryway here. But for the time being, we can just do that. And let me put one dirt there. Okay, cool. I like that a lot. This is looking really nice. And now we really need to get some flowers. So our bridge does not look so naked. So let's go on a little flower hunt. I'm going to hold my lantern so we can actually see. I'm just going to pick some flowers. Uh, I don't want to pick too many close to our base so we don't like destroy the wildlife. I just love how um, there's no mobs here. Like sometimes I do see like a random ass like skeleton or there was an enderman earlier but like mostly there's really no mobs which is just awesome. Like, what a breath of fresh air, isn't it? Ooh, and we can collect some of these firefly jars. I wonder if there's a way to actually catch these. I don't know, because I don't want to... I, again, like, don't want to mess up the natural environment here. I don't want to, like... Oh, little birdies, hello. I don't want to, like, you know, make it all ugly and dark everywhere. So, I mean, you know, I kind of want to keep where the lanterns are. So, yeah. Oh, look! Cornflowers. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> those are your alliums. Oops. It's so dark, I can't even tell. And there's some rose bushes and uh, peonies. I'm not gonna collect those, because they're a little bit too big. We'll get these tulips. Tulips! Oh, pink ones! Hooray! 
I could definitely- oh! Oh no! Armatory! God damn it, am I not collecting? Let me put this stuff away. Ooh, it's raining again! Rain, 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 I love when it rains in Minecraft and in real life, as long as I'm inside. Okay, well, um, ooh, these are so pretty. I kind of want to just collect these and we can put them maybe around our, our tree. I did not mean to throw that. Give me that. I don't like you, Sage. Get away. Sage seeds. Do not need you right now. I don't even know what they do. Oh, crap. Oh, oh my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, evil. Evil, evil. I can't see. Did I just hear... What did I just hear? I swear I just heard Melody. Maybe it was something else. Oh my god. <gasps> You're crying! Wait, die. Oh my god, why are they like crying? Get away from me! Do you guys hear that? What is that noise? It's like, it sounds like Melody. Oh, now there's a bunch of mobs. Ooh, I spoke too soon! Okay, luckily, we have a kick-ass bow. It's so dark in here. You know what's actually kind of good about the Twilight Caves? I notice that you can find ores a lot easier. Like, I- I would- oh, what the heck? I was able to find, like, diamonds, um, really close to the surface in, like, other worlds where I've explored the Twilight Forest. So that's kind of cool. I'll just check it out really quick while I'm here. I don't see any ores, so that's kind of sad. No, maybe we're not- I don't know. Hmm, perhaps we're just a bit unlucky. But hey, I'm pretty glad to, uh, you know, use my bow. It's really fun. <laughs> I really like it a lot. It's such a good bow. Let's see, I don't know, what are these things? Kobolds. Kobolds. I don't know how to pronounce that. Kobolds. Quite peculiar. Uh, well, uh, I kind of want to leave now. I don't, I don't like this that much. There is nothing! There's not even like coal or anything. What about in here? Oh, spider! Hello, spider. Goodbye, spider. Look, I can literally one-shot a spider in like- <gasps> If I full charge my bow, which sometimes I'm not always doing, but... Pretty cool! Okay. Let's see. I, I know I was supposed to leave. You know what? Let's get out of here. I don't want to waste my time. There's nothing here! What? Did I speak too soon or something? Because I don't see- Oh! Oh, am I out of arrows? That's not good. I need arrows. If I don't have arrows... Oh wait, I could have used my... Where's my quill? I mean, not my... <laughs> my quiver! Where's my quiver pet? I think he's in a chest? Oh wait, no, I think he's in here. There he is. He eats feathers. So that means we're probably gonna have to farm our chickens. Um... Yeah, because I don't have any feathers, so that means he's not going to give us anything. No! What's in here? A lot of kobolds. Kobolds? I don't like that name. Co kobolds? What a dumb name. Get! Get. Give me your XP, stupids. <gasps> Look, see? Now there's redstone and gold. I need to leave. I'm just- I can't help myself. <laughs> I can't help myself. Let me get this because I need XP. Give me that XP, yeah. I need it. I need that XP. What's in here? Nothing? Okay, 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 okay. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I swear. Where? Where's the, uh... There it is. Okay, I was like, where's the exit? <laughs> uh, oh, hi, Endermans. Hello, Endermans. Let's kill this zombie. Oh, see, now it's not doing any damage because I'm, I'm out of arrows. The bow is quite useless when I don't have any arrows, but to be fair, at least we can actually fire it in the first place. We're definitely going to need to uh, feed our quiver pet, because I am out. I'm always out of arrows! Dang it! Dang, damn it! Get me out! Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Okay, so, you know what? I think we have enough flowers. We can totally go back. Oh, but where? Oh, look, there's the bridge. You know what? I probably should... No, I think I do have a waypoint for this, so, you know, it's fine. Okay, let's put some flowers. I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna place these, like, here. Give this place a little bit of privacy. And a little bit of color as well. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love this. Okay. Gorgeous! 
Okay, let's place some flowers. My favorites are the alliums in vanilla Minecraft. Of course, because they're purple. <laughs> I think we don't actually have enough to fill the entire bridge. No. Well, you know, this is a start. Uh, let me see. Maybe I can find some more really quick. Because I kind of do want it to be... Oh, look, dandelions. We still need some of these. And some tulips. Okay. And let me just get this poppy. There we go. Okay, so we still have a few empty spots, but I think this can do for now. Um, we'll collect some more flowers later. But look how pretty! Ah, oh, it's so cute. It's so, like, natural. It's so natural. You know what? We should probably put some trapdoors here, though. I think we'll do that. Um, hmm. I wonder what the twilight oak trapdoors look like. Let's go see in the crafting table that we have over here. So, what about canopy, actually? Canopy? Mm, no, it's too dark. Let's try twilight. Ooh, interesting. Well, let me see. Hmm. What if I do like that? I don't know. They're a little weird. I don't know if I like that, honestly. Maybe something like that, and just like, like one after, you know, like one, every one over, whatever. <laughs> Cannot speak English. Okay. That's kind of interesting, actually. I mean, it looks like it has a little bit more support, at least. You know, I'll go with it. I think that's kind of cool, because we don't have like a proper railing, so I think, honestly, this can work. Okay, we need just a few more. A few more. I think we actually only need two, but I made four. Yep, I should have just made two. Okay, whatever. Well, we have two extra just in case, and I think it looks actually pretty interesting. It's definitely unique, but I really like how natural this place looks. Anyway, so, uh, before we continue with our actual Twilight House, I'm gonna make a little pathway because that's one thing that always confuses me, is how- <laughs> where- where do I go when I enter the portal? It's surprisingly confusing. So I'm gonna make a little pathway here. Past this tree. Alright. So, I, you know, recently, actually in the- this was in the- whoa. whoa. Do you see that? Oh my god. Okay, I'm not- I'm just gonna cover this up. It's scary. In my survival world that I was talking about earlier, I tried out this interesting path technique where it was like a little bit, um, sunken. Like, it was a sunken path and it was so cool. I did it in the desert and it looked really awesome and I liked- I liked it a lot. I wasn't- I was actually inspired by- one of Minecraft's, the official Minecraft YouTube channels, like, um, like one of their, like, lofi, lofi videos or whatever, like, the lofi Minecraft tracks, and it, I think the artwork was for the, uh, Minecraft Legends game, and I really liked how the pathway looked in that, like, in that illustration, so I tried it out in my own world, and I was like, whoa, this is awesome, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that here, we're gonna put like a little bit of a sunken path with some slabs, and I think it looks really very interesting, so yeah, I'm gonna do that, and I think, I don't know, something about it is just quite cozy, yeah, we're gonna put some cute little pathways, and look, see, I really, really like how this looks, this is so cool, and then we can maybe put some flowers around here, and it'll be like a little railing or something, I don't know, like a little little, little I, don't, I don't know I just I really love flowers um we need a little bit more I guess we're just gonna use up is that really all of our oh no we have an extra stack here I was like about to say I feel like we had more 
yeah, I wanted to mention um, that um, I know you guys really like the longer episodes, and I, I, I'm glad that you do because <laughs> I enjoy playing for you know quite a long time. But when it comes to recording and editing and posting <laughs> videos, when they're really long, it just takes so, so much time and effort. So to keep these uploads on a semi-regular basis, I try to not make them too long. I try to keep it at a happy medium. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I would really like to make them long for you guys, but I'll, I'll do it as best as I can. Um, but this time, I really wanted to treat you guys a little bit with a proper, longer episode. Nothing too crazy, of course, like, <laughs> not movie length or anything, because I, I would probably not be able to handle that. But yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this episode. And I feel like it's it's very much needed since we need to work on our treehouse. But yeah, so what do you think of this path? I love it. This is so cute. And I'm actually, yeah, we're gonna place some flowers here. I totally should go to my storage room in the overworld and just pick out some flowers to bring back. It's so pretty. I love it! Look at how cute this pathway is. And then I'm gonna actually just put some random little path blocks like this. Maybe one here and one here. All right, so that is our little path. It's so cute. And I'm gonna put some let's put some grass just to kind of cover this gravel up. Because I do not like that. <laughs> no. Okay. There. That looks nice. I'll keep the sand. That's okay. Cute. It's gonna look even nicer when the grass grows. Um, so now we really need to fix the lighting situation. So what I think we can do for at least a path is we can make some of the floor lamps from the for fantasy furniture mod. So I'm gonna go up to the treehouse. And I think um, now that we did the bridge and the path and everything like that, once we finish the lighting, we can actually start working on the treehouse for realsies. And I, hmm, I'm thinking of what I can really do. Cause I kind of want to keep it like nothing too crazy, as I said earlier, but um, we need to fix like up a storage room, a kitchen, and some of you guys said to make like an enchanting room and stuff like that. I don't really think that's necessary, honestly. It's gonna be a lot of work gathering bookshelves and everything like that. So I probably won't make an enchanting room, at least for now. Because we do have our tower like right next to the fairy grove anyway. Oh, I don't have any clay. Oops. There we go. So yeah, we'll see. I think for now I'm just gonna work on these three rooms that I have now. And we can always expand it later because, I mean, tree houses are kind of like perfect for expansions. Alright, so we're gonna use... I'm gonna make a few of these Nordic wall lights. And maybe we can put them on the trees, but I also really like the Dunmer floor lights as kind of like street lamps. So I'm gonna make like 15, we'll do 16. And I'm gonna keep the clay on me. Let's go down. Whee! Splash. And we're gonna place the wall lights on the trees and let's see, probably like, we have some fireflies already so it, it's not necessary like all the way, but it's kind of like a fancier torch. Speaking of torches, I'm gonna get rid of these because I do not want torches. Get out, get out. It's so dark without them though, but it's kind of like you need, you need some proper lighting, some nice proper lighting. Torches are too cheap, too cheap. All right. And luckily some of the trees already have some fireflies, but yeah. We'll just do the surrounding area. Put some torches. I feel like I should also somehow make the for uh, the Twilight Forest portal a little bit more visible. So I wonder what I should do. Because right now it's just kind of like a little puddle in the ground. It's not very obvious. So I feel like this place kind of needs some sort of like tower you know what i mean as like a landmark so we know where to go to find the portal um but for now uh i think we'll do that another time but yeah i definitely think we should make like some sort of tower so we know where to find the portal more easily but yeah let's just place some of these cool little lamps
This is looking really, really nice. I'll put one here. We have three extra, but I think this is honestly good enough for now. Like, our path is pretty well established now. This is looking really cool so far. I'm so happy. This is my first time ever building in the Twilight Forest. Like, ever, ever. <laughs> it's really awesome, honestly. It's just such a nice, like, biome. I, I mean, not biome. Dimension. It's really, really cool. Okay, so now we can officially start working on the treehouse. I'm gonna actually make a little bit of, like, a... Uh, like a proper looking type of entrance, I guess. And we need a door. Yeah, we totally need a door. There's so many doors we can choose from. So I wonder what I can do. I always like the idea of putting like a very brightly colored door. Hmm. The Nordic door is really cute. It's not bright, but it would totally match. We could do a green door. I really like the green, like the green planks and stuff. So maybe we can do that. Um, I'll have to go back to the overworld to grab that, but we can do that. Uh, I think I actually kind of want to, you know, let me try something out here. So we can do something like this. I like that. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's so cute. I like that. Okay, so let's go grab a green door and I'm also probably just gonna like uh, rummage through my chest and see if I want to bring any any other like supplies perhaps some decoration blocks we can make use of or something like that you know at some point I think what I can do is I want to try to find a desert because I really really need a place to like collect sand and I I don't think I've ever found a desert here before. So not today. I'm just I'm just kind of throwing it out into into the uh, just throwing it out there. But I definitely need to bring or to find some sort of desert at some point because I I really need it. Um, ooh, should I grow some cherry trees? You know what? No, because you know I want to keep it natural. Um, or, like, native to the Twilight Forest. I'm gonna bring some moss with me. Oh, we have warp doors. You know what? Maybe I'll just use the warp door, because we already have them. Okay, we'll do that. And let's see what else we can use. I'm gonna place my building blocks here. Just for now, because I really need a lot of space. And, um, I'm going to- where's my quiver pet? So I'm gonna grab some feathers so he can at least eat. There you go. So now he should give me arrows once I need them. See? Yay! I'm gonna bring some of these clover leaves. And, uh, I don't have any lily pads, do I? I don't think so. Maybe some sweet berries. We can grow those. And clover flowers. I'm going to take a hanging sign so we can name our house. We also have a spring plank store. I might try both and see which one I like better. Uh, I'll bring like an extra two chests so I can place those into the storage room. And hmm, what else? We have some more floor lights we can use. We have some fairy lights. Ooh, we can also use some of these moss carpets. Yeah, that would be awesome. Okay, now I think that's pretty much it. I'm actually also going to try to find... Um, is the only way to get Twilight Oak wood from the robust Twilight Oak trees? Because I really would like a better supply of those. I don't want to have to cut down the really big trees, though. But we'll see. I need to check where I can get those. All right, let's go to our- oh, the lantern is so cool. Let's go to the twilight oak tree, or what, what, what did I call it? Twilight, the twilight tree house. Yeah, we're gonna name it. So, um, let me also choose a door first. So I'm kind of interested in what this would look like. It's interesting for sure, but maybe... You know what, I kind of want to do the warped wood because it looks so mystical and I kind of like that. So I'm going to put it here. 
and let's put a sign. Oh, oh god. Okay, wait. Uh, maybe on this side. Yeah, sure. This is the Twilight Treehouse. Awesome! Should have probably brought like a, you know, little bit of a- Oh, you know what? Let me just put a lantern. There we go. Better, much better. And let's put some of these cute little clovers. These are from Ferdinand's flowers, but they are just so pretty. Ah, oh, look at that. This place definitely, like, the front of my house should totally be, like, you know, we, we need to put some flowers and stuff like that. And maybe even some of these floor lights. Because look at all these torches. I, I know I want to get rid of them. We we can do that. Do I have any more? I thought I had more. Oh, I do, yeah. Let's replace this one at least. There we go. Now, this is a little weird because it's kind of like floating, so I'm going to try to fix that. There we go. That's a little better. Now it looks like it's actually going into the ground. Okay, so, so this is canopy. I do not want canopy. This is twilight oak. Okay, so I guess the little tiny trees, we need to cut those down. And I'm also going to replant them because I, I really don't want to, uh, um, where are the saplings? <laughs> um, don't tell me they don't give me saplings. Oh, here we go. Oh, thank goodness. Right? Where? Oh, right here. Sickly. Sickly? Why is it sickly? Oh no. That's not good. A sickly twilight oak sapling. Okay, but we're- yeah, we're- I'm gonna collect these saplings. I'm gonna place some of them kind of like near the twilight tree. So we can, uh, we can let them grow while we're nearby and hopefully collect some more wood. But yeah, I'm gonna go a little bit into the land over here and I'm just gonna chop down a few trees because I really want a collection of the twilight oak wood. I also really love the canopy wood, but I I, I want to use the logs. <gasps> it's a dog! Hello! Hello, little wolf! I don't have any bones to tame you. I'm so sorry. It's raining again. I love that it rains here. It's so awesome. It's super relaxing when it's raining. Yeah, I'm I'm really yeah, I, I'm just so much enjoying this episode because it's just so peaceful to be in the Twilight Forest, not worrying about Grim War of Kaya mobs or anything like that. It's just really chill. Ooh, Lily of the Valley, I'm gonna take these. Um, but yeah, so I'm also really hungry. Like, can I just say that I'm so I, I should have probably eat, eaten first. Whoops. But let's plant these trees. Have a little bit of a forest growing in our backyard. Speaking of which, we could totally make a garden here. <gasps> I can make a garden on the actual leaves. Yes. Wait, I want to do that. I want to do that. Let's do that. We have water, right? We do have water. I'm going to also plant some of these berries around here. Uh, Pull it here. in here all right yeah we're totally gonna do a little garden that would be so awesome i'm gonna put this lily of the valley right here and let's go up Ooh, this is exciting oh my gosh i really want to make a garden i want to do that now <laughs> let's do that now anyway i was gonna say i should have really eaten before i recorded but that's all right i'll just starve a little bit longer <laughs> Okay, so what floor should we make the garden? We can have a mini one near the kitchen. Um, let's try to get into the tree a little bit. So maybe over here. I see like a branch, right? Some sort of branch. Uh, I don't want to destroy the whole tree. Maybe if we can get, get up here somehow. Oh, hello. This is the... Uh, hold on, let me actually use my break spell. Because I kind of want to get some of these leaves back. So, imagine like a teensy tiny little kitchen garden. 
I think we can make one here. The only issue, it's kind of like... We're a little bit... Um, breaking into our uh, upper floor, so hopefully that works if we just cover that block up. So yeah, this... I, I really like this idea. A little garden, and then we're gonna put some... Do I have dirt? Yeah. We have a little bit of dirt that I can put. And look, I have one seed. You know what? It'll be kind of interesting if I actually grew sage in here, because I I still don't really know what sage is used for from Hexaray. But I feel like, if anything, I feel like the Twilight Forest is a good place to grow it. Just... <gasps> Wait! Should I actually make my witchery stuff in the Twilight Forest? Rather than making like a witch area for the overworld, because that would be actually really cool. That would give us more of a reason to actually go into the Twilight Forest more regularly, like once we're actually done with like the bosses and stuff like that. <gasps> Guys, I think we should do that. Once we get into the Hexeray and like the Witchery mod or Bewitched or whatever it's called, I totally want to do that. I'm out of food. Oh no, we have some stew. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I think I think we should do that. So we're gonna put the Witchery stuff in the Twilight Forest. Hooray! That is such a cool idea. Awesome. So I guess in the future we will definitely be back here with some more building. I I am so uh, new to those mods by the way, like Hexeray and Bewitched and everything. I never played around with those mods before, so I'm definitely excited to get into it, but I'm also a little bit nervous because I don't really know what to expect. But at least we'll get a little sage garden going for the time being. And I wonder, do I have any stairs? Well, we can make some. We have some canopy wood that I'm gonna use, actually. Let me put the crafting table down. We're gonna put put it here in the little kitchen area. And sh we'll put a, t a chest, I guess. And let's make some stairs. There we go. Awesome. Oh. Oh no. Uh. Oh my gosh! Melody, what was that? Okay, maybe we just won't put a stair here. <laughs> okay. Because I don't want to break that leaf. So, let's put some sage. I'm gonna break this. We honestly don't need any more weeds. And I'll grow a little bit. Ooh! Look at that! It's pretty. <gasps> what did I get? Sage! I got, like, sage, I guess. Oh my god, what? That is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the counter. And the seeds. Cool. And I'll make a little carpet. Cute. So adorable. And what about upstairs? We have our storage room. I'm not sure what to put here. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Another garden! Duh! Okay, so I actually need some more dirt. But here we can make a garden. I'm gonna actually break this, make this a little bit taller. Cool. Yeah, so we'll put a garden here, and actually maybe like even up here too. Like that. So we can actually see it a little bit once we're, you know, not inside the tree. And on this side... How about another garden, honestly? Because I don't need like that much storage in here. I feel like just like this, and maybe like a little bit over here. Some chests, we can put this chest like so. So yeah, that should be definitely enough storage and then we can put some more farms. How awesome will that be? Let's get some more grass. Oh wait, I have a stack of dirt already, but you know what, I'm gonna get a little bit more just in case. It's a little bunny! Oh my gosh! It's called the dwarf rabbit? Is that what it's called? Oh, you're so cute! I wonder if there's a way to tame those. Oh, 
Okay. Alright, I feel like that's honestly going to be enough. I did not realize everybody had a stack on me, which is pretty helpful. Um, by the way, one of the things that is really cool about this uh, Twilight Forest is there's like this biome called... Um, I think it's called an Enchanted Forest, actually, and it's like rainbow. And I would love to find it and show it to you guys if you've never seen it before. It's so cool. And inside those biomes, there is... Um, this like quest ram thing so it's like a little structure and there's like a sheep and if you feed the quest ram all the different colors of the wool or like all the wool colors it'll give you like a bunch of cool little rewards and I really really want to try to do that I've done it before with a friend and it was so much fun so yeah one day I think I'll definitely try to do that once we go exploring a little bit I suppose hopefully we'll find an enchanted forest nearby okay so let's put some dirt And over here we can put like a stair- little stairway. So I'm still not sure if I need this anvil pet to be in my hotbar for it to repair items or if it can just repair them when it's in my actual inventory, so I don't really know. Um, the way it works, so I think I showed this on stream but I'll show it to you guys. So you can spawn it in an anvil and then you can feed it iron nuggets. And look, it's repairing my stuff! How cool is that? And then we can, um... We can dismiss it with right click. Let me try. Um, it's not. It's not working. I think that is a little bugged, or maybe I need to. Nope. Okay. I don't know how to dismiss it. I think it's kind of broken. Can I kill you? Why do you have so much health? Get out of here! Oh my god. Hey, hey, hey! Get out of here, bud. I'm done with you. I'm sorry, I really don't want to kill you, but I don't know how to dismiss you and you're kind of in the way. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I don't know how to dismiss them. It's like it's not working. Oh well. some water. I probably need to make an infinite water source up there. I think I only have one bucket. No! Oh, you know what? Can we place these fireflies as light sources? I'm pretty sure you can. <gasps> oh, that's so cute! Wait, then I don't even need this lantern up here. I can just have my little firefly friends. That's so adorable. We'll put some fireflies inside the treehouse as well. They're so cute! Ooh, they're pretty. Very, very pretty. We'll put one here. And one here. What a great natural light source. Little fireflies. I love them. How adorable. Okay, so we need a place for infinite water. Um, hmm. I don't want to make it, like, anywhere. Uh, maybe we'll do it, like, here in the utility room. So... Crap. Oh god, it's gonna... No, don't do that. Why you do this? Just put some canopy. There we go. Okay, so... I'm gonna quickly grab the water from over here. Ooh, it's gonna dehydrate! No! Quick! Be quick! Okay, grab! Go, go, go! I don't want my soil to dehydrate. I know it's not even a big deal, but... Okay, we're fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay. It'll all be alright. We can grab some more, right? Yay! And now we can put some here. Hooray! And... Okay. I know it's kind of a weird place to put an infinite water source. We can always move it later, but just for now, I think this is gonna be fine. Oh, 
some. And we definitely need some lanterns here because it's quite dark and I don't have any more fireflies. Okay, so I'm actually going to cover up the water with some trapdoors so we don't really see them as much because... Ooh, that's very subtle. Yeah, I don't really like how they're so... Uh... You can just fall into the water and get your feet wet. Get your socks wet. Ew. Yeah. Okay, looks like this one's not hydrating, so I guess uh, we'll just get rid of it. Um, oh, we also need some more slabs. I don't want to trample the soil, so we'll put two here. Now, I think everything is nice and smooth. So, I wonder if there's any more types of um, crops I can grow from Hexeray or anything, so I'm gonna check. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. Wait, mugwort? Uh, tallow impurity? Is that a seed? I don't think so, actually. Tallow isn't a seed. What am I talking about? Um, flowering lily pads, belladonna, belladonna berries, mandrake. So we probably could grow mandrake, right? And mugwort, yellow dock flowers, dried sage. Okay, cool. So there's a lot of like herbs. Oh, you know what? I know where we can go. If we find a hexary like little village structure, I don't really know what they're specifically called, but... I found them in my mermaid let's play and they had little herb gardens like little witch gardens so that's where we can probably find some stuff to grow Ooh, look seed mixture uh yeah so why don't we try to find one um i don't want to like bore you guys with a bunch of walking around so maybe i'll just go onto my gyrodyne i'll look around and try to find one and then i'll cut back yeah because i don't i i want to focus mostly on building this episode so okay i think we should do that because i actually really want to uh we can start dabbling our toes into hexeray so but before we do that let me just um let me try to use up some of these blocks where can i so these are a little bit interesting because the the hanging lights they can only be placed like like on top of a proper block so we can't do leaves um, so we'll have to probably, hmm, we can put some here. We also have these ones that I kind of want to use up, so put them here. Yeah, there's not really that many places. I also want to get some leaves and kind of like cover this place up a little bit and make it look a bit nicer. Put some here, I suppose. Oh, cute. Okay. So we can actually put them... <gasps> oh, I didn't know that! Okay, wait. That that helps. That really helps. One second. Let me get rid of this. And instead... Give me that! Give me! I want it! There we go. Okay. We can put these... We can put some here. Oh, cute! And here. Oh, they're like little ornaments. Very adorable. Very, very cute. Okay. Um, so for the rest, I think we can just put this away for now. We can use some a little bit later, all these little decoration blocks. So yeah, let's go try to find that hexeray thing. I think that would be really awesome. We can grow some, some whatever. <laughs> and start actually, you know, slowly exploring the witches mods. And what about Bewitched, actually? Or wait, is it not called Bewitched? What is it called? Witch? No. God damn it, I don't remember. I thought it was called Bewitched. 
Okay, I had to check the mod list. It's apparently called Witch Mobility. But when I search up Witch, it doesn't show anything. What? I'm confused. Hold on, let me... I, I think I had to check the creative inventory because I can't find the mod. Okay, so I just had to scour through the creative inventory and I even checked the mod CurseForge page and I know that it's installed because it's literally like the file shows up as a mod in the mod pack. And for some reason, like none of the items exist. I can't find any of the brooms or the witch suits or anything like that. So I, I don't know what's going on. It's like the mod is here, but it's not actually working. So I guess... So I guess we uh, don't really have witch mobility. I, I don't know what's going on, so I guess we can just focus on Hexray for now. Which is fine because actually I, I, I noticed that Hexray actually has some brooms. So we have Mahogany, Willow, Witch, Hazel Broom. I don't know if we can actually like fly on them or something. That would be kind of cool. Um, but we, we do have a lot of stuff from Hexray in itself. Let's see. It, I mean, it looks like it's a pretty decent sized mod. So maybe I'll look for some other witch mods that we can add. If you guys have any suggestions, um, let me know. Uh, I kind of wish that witchery was still around. I think that's kind of an outdated mod. I'm not too sure. Maybe it's not. But I believe witchery is no longer like available for 1.19.2. But whatever. We'll focus on Hexery for now. We have a lot of mods to play with anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna go sleep in my house and we're gonna try to find the Hexery village structure or whatever it's called. And I will be right back, guys. Okay, so this is the structure that I was talking about. And it seems like these are called nature covens. Good riddance. Get out. Him, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. Okay, so this is a nature coven and It's so cool. These are always so pretty and look some dryads. Hello pretties <sighs> I love this place. Okay, so let's see. How can we enter? Is there like a uh, entryway here? Um, I could always just block up I guess but I kind of want to Let's look around. Let's see what we're what we can uh, find. So, I don't really know what the purpose of these things are specifically. They just look really cool to me. And um, wow, cool candelabra. <laughs> and I don't know, like, if you're supposed to do something in these places. Like, but they have like, look, check this out, pestle and mortar. I'm gonna take that. Um, drying rack it's like an herb drying rack okay i'll take that and what else Ooh, witch hazel sapling that's cool can we actually plant those i'm gonna take some of these candelabras Can candelabras Can candelabras is that how you okay anyway so let's see um what else can we find there is a blood a blood sigil okay okay crystal ball you know i don't want to i don't want to raid this place entirely um i'm gonna mark this on my mini map or on my waypoints and we can come back here and just check it out there's some stuff in here herb jar i'll take this like this is a cool decoration to have this one looks empty though pestle and mortar sage cool oh look there's a bunch of leather and a bed so yeah i mean there's a lot of stuff here that we can we can take a look at what is that? Oh, it's copper. This place is so pretty. So there should be a garden somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. I really hope there is one. I, I don't really uh, know if they're like a guaranteed spawn. Woo, mixing cauldron. This is so cool. I, I, I don't know what like what to do here. This is just really awesome. And I love the, like, the structure because it's, like, on stilts. I mean, this is just so cool. What a cool freaking structure. I wish there were witches that you can actually, like, talk to. <gasps> Whoa! There's crows! And what is that? Is that also- Oh, white crows. Wow, that is so cool! <gasps> oh, wait, you can totally tame these, right? With, like, mixed- Mixed- si mi Seed mixture. 
You can befriend them. Crow snackies. Whoa, pestle and mortar. Oh, you need like a bunch of things. Whoa, we can actually try to make that. I don't have beetroot though, I don't think. <gasps> Whoa, what, what are these things, dude? I, oh my God, I really want to crow. <laughs> Is it like a familiar? That's so awesome. No, don't escape. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna leave. What else, what else? Um, Where's the farm? Please tell me they have one. Oh God, don't tell me. Don't tell me they don't have a farm. I think I need to sleep. Oh wait, is that? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. Shoot, maybe this structure doesn't have one. Okay, I just slept. Wow, so it seems that this structure doesn't have one of the gardens. No, what a shame. Oh man, I really wanted to find one. I guess I can keep looking. Eh, uh, I guess, yeah. I'll, I'll find another one. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, I was just gonna show you guys what I found, but I'm getting bombarded by freaking sirens. Um, they're dropping fish though, which is interesting. But anyway, we're in a swamp, and I actually found a different type of coven. I think this is a dark coven. So I've never actually seen this one specifically myself, but it looks really cool. This is like awesome so maybe this one will have a farm i i honestly don't know oh crap there's a guy over there oh man oh shoot i'm lagging i think what is happening oh no get away get away oh my god oh no they have a lot of health oh shoot oh my god there's three of them oh shoot no 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 stay away Stay back. Holy crap, why do they have so much health? Guys. This is not good. Why do they have so much health? I'm literally hitting them with my enchanter's bow. Oh, I really don't like swamps. I want to kill them now, though. Like, what the heck? Hey! Get over here! Die! Dude, what is happening? Why are they not... How much health do you have? Why do you have so much health? Am I, like, not doing any damage to them? What the heck? They drop, like, fish. Dude, you suck! Maybe they have like really strong armor or something. I feel like that's probably the case. There we go. I don't even want to know where that third one is. Whatever. I... <laughs> God dang it. I am so scared now. It's freaking Nagas. Okay, I'm gonna put some blocks in hand so I don't get uh, jump scared. Um, I also need to make a little bit of space here. We have a lot of stuff that I found. Okay, cool. So does this place have a garden? That is what I'm looking for. Oh! Oh! Check that out! There, I think that's a garden, right? Yeah, it looks like there's a bunch of stuff over there. <gasps> Hooray! Okay, let's go. Okay, um, how? How do I, how do I get there? Why does this look like it's a different, like, completely- Whoa, why? This place is huge! Do I just, like, okay, um, I'll make a little bridge. Um, let me use the cobblestone. So maybe this is two covens, uh, like, at once? Because this is, like, not connected as far as I can see. Wow. I am very curious about this place. I think what I can do- Whoa, what is this? There's another mixing culture and there's like little candles. Okay, so you know what I think I should do? I probably am not going to explore all of this today, um, but I, I will take the crops. I'm going to mark this place on my mini-map, and once we actually start exploring the Hexray mod for realsies, I'll come back here and we'll do a little bit of a exploration, because this place is really freaking big, 
And look, this is awesome. They're like in the water or like on top of the water. Is that another? I don't think that's another farm, is it? I don't even know. But this is so cool, guys. Okay, let's see what we have. We have some uh, uh, mantrakes. We have sage. We have belladonna. We have some wheat. Mugwort. Okay, more sage. I'm just going to take everything except for the wheat. Oh my god, this is awesome. Belladonna, yellow dock. That's something else. Mandrake, sage. Mandrake, sage. Sage and mugwort. Awesome! So this, since they're growing wheat as well, I'm assuming wheat is also going to be used in this mod for something. But, I mean, we have a lot of wheat. Um, what's in here? I saw like some jars. Mandrake brew. Okay, I'll take this. And look, it's a little drying rack. This is so cute. I'll take that as like a decoration or something. And up here, whoa. So awesome. Look at this, an altar! <gasps> give me that. Oh no, give it give it to me. Give it to me. Oh, thank god that scared me. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take the altar, why not? We can maybe use that for something. Look at this crystal ball, that is so awesome. Okay, well you know what, I'm gonna mark this place on my mini-map and I'm gonna go back to our house. Okay guys, let's go back to the Twilight Forest portal and plant all of our new things. This is so cool, I'm so glad that we actually found all of the crops, because I wouldn't know how else to get them. Maybe they're only available in the covens, I'm not really sure. But yeah, I'm so clueless on Hexary. I'll definitely have to look up some tutorials on what to do with this mod. If you guys have any tips or pointers or something you'd like me to do, leave them in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys what you, what you, what your uh, knowledge on this mod is. Okay, so let's go back to our Twilight Tree House, and I wonder what I can do on these little lower branches. Maybe I can make something there too. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. It's definitely not very visible from the outside, probably because it's just so high up. But I mean, on the inside, it's looking pretty nice. And yeah, I'm thinking I can definitely make myself some sort of bubble elevator to at least go up because this is a little bit ridiculous. So let's go and plant our stuff. Um, I'm going to plant it up here in the utility area. And I guess I'm not going to plant it in order. So we have wheat growing here. Um, I'll plant the man... What is this? Mandrake. We'll plant it here. Ooh, we have mandrake root. So this is probably what we're actually going to harvest from it. We have mugwort bush. Yellow dock bush. Oh, so these are found in the swamp biome. Interesting. Okay, so I'll put these... Actually, here. Let me move this uh, on this layer. And Belladonna, we can put it here. This is so cool. I think that's everything, right? We just have sage and that's it. And we'll put these herb drying racks. Oh, these are awesome. That is so cool. Wait, actually, I'm going to put this in the kitchen. I mean, that's just where it makes sense, obviously. So we'll put our drying racks here, maybe. Actually, I think I'll move this one and put it... Uh... It's so tight in this kitchen, but I kind of like it. So again, you can't place them on leaves. So maybe we'll put it there. Just for now. We'll probably fix this up a little bit later. And we have an altar, which I don't know what that does. This is mainly to hold the Book of Shadows and display it for reading. Other items may be placed on top of the altar and can be removed by crouch right-clicking the block. Oh, would have been nice to know that. Okay, so this is for the Book of Shadows. I I know what that is. I think that's the, like, informative book for witchery and, like, witchcraft. So that's really cool. Again, we don't really have a proper place for witchcraft just yet. I'm gonna have to build that because I don't want it to be- I mean, should I make it actually inside the Twilight Treehouse, guys? That could make sense. That could give us like a more of a reason to kind of, you know, decorate this place. So maybe I will make the, the witchery stuff inside the treehouse. And we can have a garden like on the ground somewhere for like farming and whatever. But yeah, so if you guys have any ideas of what I, th what I should do, just let me know because I'd love to hear um, if you guys... I mean, you always have some really creative ideas, but I'm going to place down these herb jars. Cute! Oh, they're really adorable. Put this one here. 
and we have an herb jar, last one. Oops, oh, I emptied it by accident. Oh, cool, that is so awesome. Well, now I know how to use them, okay. Very, very cute. So, yeah, leave you guys' suggestions in the comments if you have any ideas of what I should do for, you know, the witchery and the farming and what I can even make inside of my Twilight Forest in general. What, what else can we do here? I really am excited because there's just so many things we can do. Um, okay, so I'm gonna actually replace this really quick with this. There we go. And yeah, so hi guys. I'm just gonna quickly interrupt my own outro really quick because I actually did a little bit of decorating off camera to the outside of our tree house and I wanted to show you before I ended the recording. Um, so let's go over and check it out. So as you can see, I added some glowberries and lanterns hanging off of our tree house because I really wanted this tree to stand out and just, you know, be visible. So I added some glowberries. This was very, very tedious. I had to like fly up on, on the gyrodyne and it was just, yeah, I, I'm honestly glad I didn't record that because it, it just took a lot of time. Um, but let me show you guys a little bit up close. So, wee! I really like how this looks. Also, I put a bit of glowstone inside the leaves so they just, you know, are a little bit more visible. So yeah, I'm still not done with the decoration outside. I think I want to add some um, leaves, like, uh, on the surface. I mean, yeah, like on the ground and, you know, fix it up a little bit more. It, it still needs a lot of work, but I wanted to show you guys what I did um, off camera. And that's it. I didn't, cho I didn't change anything in on the inside, just... Some glowberries, I think it looks so pretty. If you guys have any suggestions for what else I should add to the treehouse, please let me know. I'm really excited to continue working on this. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys continue watching the outro. Whee! <laughs> I think we got a lot done this episode. I would do a little bit more, but I feel like I need your guys' input at this point. I know the episode wasn't like super, super long, but I hope you guys enjoyed the extra the extra time that we got together today. Thank you so much for watching as always. I really hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like on the video if you want to see more fairy court episodes in the future and be sure to check out my Patreon that I recently launched. If you want to get early access to videos along with a bunch of other perks, I would really appreciate your guys' support. If you're interested, click on the link in the description. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all later. Bye!